Many in NEPA are taking a chance at the big jackpots this week, but what would you do if you actually won the thing? Financial experts say there are definite do's and don'ts if you're lucky enough to win the whole thing and some big decisions that have to be made the minute you realize you've got a winning ticket. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Emily Allegrucci joins us live in the studio to share their advice tonight. Emily. Good evening, Nick. Yes, the drawing for the $500 million Mega Millions jackpot just happened, and the $725 million Powerball drawing happens tomorrow night. As many hope for a winning ticket, it's important to remember the responsibility that comes with all this money. With millions of dollars up for grabs, lottery players all over pay a few dollars hoping to turn it into a fortune. All right, good luck. The higher the numbers you're going to get, the more people are going to play. No doubt about it. I play them pretty frequently. Um, just the small, slightest chance of, you know, winning big gets me. But what many players don't expect is the life-changing choices that come with a winning ticket, starting with what to do when you realize you're a multimillionaire. Professionals first recommend taking a picture of the winning ticket and keeping it in a safe place. The hardest part may be keeping it a secret. What you should not do is uh, yell it from the you know, from the rooftops, you should keep mum. Mum is the word. Before telling family or friends, it's important to get a team together and make a game plan. Only tell your closest confidants, uh, meaning your attorney, your financial advisor, and your accountant. A mistake many make after getting such a large sum of money is blowing it. One way to avoid this, setting up a trust or foundation so the money can benefit people long after you can no longer spend it. Like we're not gonna live forever, but your foundation may live forever. And this kind of money, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars um, may be able to do that, to help fund uh, generations, fund charities. I do have children, and if this blessing does fall into my lap, I would want it to trickle down to all of their family members as well. So I would definitely um, hire an accountant, a lawyer, um, everything just to secure and make sure they have it for generations and generations. And even if you don't become a mega millionaire now, there's always another drawing. You have something to look forward to to get your numbers and hope the guys you're one of the lucky ones. Now, Nick, even though I have a better chance of finding Willy Wonka's golden ticket than I have to win the lottery, I did buy a Mega Millions and a Powerball today, and the off chance my Irish heritage kicks in and I get some luck. If not, I guess I'll start taking my chances with some Wonka bars. Emily, if you don't show up to work tomorrow, we know what happened.